CDC estimates that cigarettes kill more Americans each year than alcohol, AIDS, suicide, illegal drugs, car accidents and homicides combined. Most people know that cigarette smoke and tobacco contain many toxic substances including tar, arsenic, nicotine and cyanide. The common dangers of cigarettes have been known for decades. However, few people know that tobacco also contains radioactive materials. Radioactive materials like polonium and lead are found naturally in the soil and air. They are also found in the high phosphate fertilizers that farmers use on their crops. Polonium and lead get into and onto tobacco leaves and remain there even after the tobacco has been processed. To imagine just how much radiation smoking causes, let's compare it to some other radioactive things. Bananas, for example, are rich in potassium. Potassium is naturally radioactive. When you eat a banana, you are exposed to about 0.1 microsieverts. One hour at cruising altitude is about 3 microsieverts, which is equal to 30 bananas. In Fukushima, Japan, three years after the disaster, radiation levels are about 10 microsieverts per hour. For six months in space, astronauts are exposed to 80,000 microsieverts. In one year, smokers' lungs are exposed to 160,000 microsieverts. That is equal to 1.6 million bananas. When a smoker lights a cigarette and inhales the tobacco smoke, the toxic and radioactive substances in the smoke enter the lungs where they can cause direct and immediate danger to the cells and tissues. The same toxic and radioactive substances can also damage the lungs of people nearby. Polonium and lead accumulate for decades in the lungs of smokers. Over time, sticky tar in the tobacco builds up into small air passageways in the lungs, and radioactive substances get trapped. In time, these substances can lead to lung cancer and even death. Did you learn something new? Do you have someone you would like to see this video? Thank you for watching, this has been Minecraft. Please subscribe for new weekly science videos. And tell us, what should we talk about next?